Hey guys, it's John from Awesome Quest. Before we get started with the video, I want you guys to check out this awesome podcast that I've been listening to called Dregs of Craigs. It's a show where these three guys, Steve, Dustin, and Sean, talk about the worst Craigslist ads you can imagine. And a lot of the times, the three hosts laugh so hard, I'm pretty sure one of them have puked from laughing too hard. It's a great show. Give it a listen. Now on with the episode. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Ted. And welcome back to, to Awesome, awesome Quest. Quest. Dark Souls remastered on, on Nintendo Switch. Yay. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Um... Well, like you said, exploration, because you gotta figure out how to get over to those yeah. ridges somehow, so. And we were walking around, so I know how to get to those ridges, I just don't know what to do from there. So well, like, trial by error. Boop, and then you go... Uh, uh, it is a bit, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. So you just keep going, going, going. And then you get to the very top, and then you roll onto the little... The ledge? Yeah. You missed again. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, it's fine. It happens. It takes um, a little bit, it's a little bit clunky, right? Yeah, it, it feels clunky, but, like, at the same time... This was definitely, like, a choice that they made that was kind of silly. Mm -hmm. Because, like, think about it. This isn't a platformer. <laughs> it isn't. It really isn't. Um, but it's also one of the things someone brought up, I believe, like, Yahtzee mm -hmm. um, brought up, that it feels like they built the environment first, then we're like, oh, how are we going to have the players get around it? Yeah. I I very much agree with that sentiment. But it is very pretty. It is very pretty. I like Anne Orlando a lot so far. Um, I'm going to hate the fucking sniper demons. Um, um, they're just knights. The sniper demons. Okay, whatever you say. The demons because they are annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm glad to be playing this again. It's been a while. A couple weeks, at yeah. least. So, like, I'm gonna fuck it up a little bit, but I need to look up what cathedral this was based off. If I know there's an actual cathedral, because it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Sam's not with us this week. Mm -hmm. Damn it. That happens. It's, it's like, like you said, it's kind of not the optimal game for that kind of yeah. movement. Uh, I think I think the thing I'm more annoyed with is just the amount of loading screens I have to go through afterwards. Okay, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Turn around, come around and back up. Il Duomo in Milan, Italy. Milan, Italy, nice. I I can, I think I've seen pictures of that cathedral before. Was it Ooh, really? Okay, so, yeah, we're back playing Dark Souls. Ted and I just did a, like, seven-hour stint of Pokemon the other day. Yeah. That was super fun. Also, Future Ted put up a picture of that cathedral. Yeah. Because it's very pretty. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's take it. Nice. And slow. Yeah, it's a bit... Treacherous. Yes. Okay. So get to the very, like, edge of that, and then... There we go. Oh, jeez. And okay. now, in this area, down... I would recommend not falling... There are a lot of people, by the way. Um, I would recommend... You will have to do more platforming like that in just a moment. And down below you is the area where the um, painted world where you can get the Valka Rapier is. Oh! It is a pain in the ass area, though. Okay. There's enemies that toxic you when you kill them. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite a pain. And I cannot remember where the, and the, the Rapier is, so... Yeah. I won't be much help. Ooh! Throwing knives. Okay. 
So the painted world is down there. Yes, but you need to, you know that one um, br like um. Can I break that chandelier? Yes, you can. You have to climb up there actually. Okay. There, this is where the platforming is. Oh. It's also quite popular for PvP. I. I had a feeling. <laughs> That's also where Big Boys for Big Boys comes in really handy, because the enemies will hit you with knives and push you back a little bit. Yeah. So you can cut that, and it will stay cut even if you die. That chandelier will fall. And kill a couple guys underneath, and there's also an item on it. You know what? In this situation... Specifically in this situation, where is it? I'm gonna go full Elite Night Garb. Okay. Because of the increase in poise. Because it, it'll make you a bit harder to push around. Yes. If they get up close to you. You won't stagger and they won't be able to push you off as easy. Where is it? There it is. There'll still be some blowback from their effects, but... Yeah. And might as well... Keep both of those on just for safeties. Yeah. And it should increase my defense, so I won't be taking as many hits. Mm -hmm. Like, as much damage. But yeah, so this is... It's really pretty to see, now that I'm seeing it on the big screen again. It's been since, like, 2014. Since I played this on anything but the Switch's handheld. Yeah. It is very pretty. Y yeah. Nice. Oh, and it looks like he oh, cut it. Oh, he the... cut it. Thanks, dude. Yeah. So there are two oh, more of man. those guys up here, I believe. I will say this does give me, like, the worst Ajita. Yeah. Because you know my, like, my biggest fear is heights. So, mm. like, this has given me, like, the gross feelings. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here because he's coming to me. And it looks like these corners have a little more coverage. That really decreased the amount of damage he did. Yeah. By a pretty significant margin. And now that's the last one up here on this area. And the fog wall you see is not a boss fog wall, so don't worry. Okay. Because the boss of the series is Ornstein and Smo, and you're not there yet. <laughs> nope. I'm not even gonna be ready for them probably for a while. Well, you do have a plus 10 weapon, so that's as good as you could get, really. And you, yeah, stamina. I literally Very took those nice. hits because I knew I could. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Amazing big chest guys. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> I am first try surprised on that. at myself with that one. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, so just go through the Well you can take care of this guy and do some stuff. Excuse me, monk. May I speak to you about Jesus? Ah, but he worships Gwen, probably. Probably. Should I go down here? If you want. Okay. So I do believe. Ah, oh, no, not quite. Yeah, no. No, there's nothing down here. Unless. Uh, because you can roll. Why am I walking weird? Probably because you're at a heavy weight. Oh, okay. If you want to give yourself a roll. Yeah, you're at heavy roll. Okay. So I will probably switch that back off. Yeah. Also, listen to the sound of the armor clanking together. Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> that little detail. Yeah. So don't go there. Go through the door. Yeah, no, I'm just looking. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. Hey, there's a little guy down there. Yep, there are a bunch of them. He's so small. You're so high up. I'm such a big boy. Yeah. Now, depending, I, like... I may roll with this armor for a little bit longer just mm -hmm. to see how I feel about it now that, like, I've used it for a little bit. Yep. But, uh... Now, you can crank that switch. Crank, crank that lever, I mean. 
and I can't remember which way it turns, because, um, yeah, basically, you can use this to get to that area, and you can also use it even further down, or it might just be one turn, mm, no, but basically you're reconnected now to the, um, area the where the bonfire bridge. is, okay. and there's also another gargoyle. Oh, mother fricker. So if you want to run back to the bonfire area. Do you use more stamina the heavier your armor yes, is? Yes, I do believe so. I might be wrong. I usually don't play I'm with definitely it. moving slower. Yeah. And weight is more punishing in this game, I think. Yeah. Than others, because there's the limit of heavy and, uh... Because it's a lot more specific. Like, in the other game... Um, Wait, being below... should I go to the if bonfire? You, if you want, it might be worth it, because you can, it won't change and you'll still have that bridge connected. Oh! Like, you don't have many souls, but it's one of those things where you could just re recover your, um, Estus. Gotcha. I am a night boy. Mm-hmm. And I think I need to start... Sam, Sam said this, too. Like, this game is more about blocking than dodging. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of why I'm thinking, like, maybe I'll try the Heavy Knight, or the the Heavy Knight? Is it the Heavy Knight? Heavy Knight? This armor set. Oh, the Elite Knight set. The Elite Knight. I'll try the Elite Knight set for a little bit, see how I feel. Yeah. And I can't remember if you have Havel's Ring or not yet. I do. If you do, you can, um, you can either take off... The Steel Protection is giving you extra defense, and the Wolf is giving you extra poise... And I don't need as much poise. Because you have some poise with your armor now. Yeah. Um, what was I going to do? Um, I, I was just saying, though, heal up and restore your Estus. Oh, right. Um, and then change equipment, so now we can if go... If you have Havel's Ring. I, we beat Havel, right? I think you did, yes. It's been a while since we played. Yes, it does. Yeah, you have. Now let's see what your roll is. It's medium. Oh, okay. Nice. So... And I'm running faster. Yeah. All right, yeah. Let's um, let's stick with this for now, just because it feels pretty good, mm -hmm. and see where we go from there. Yep. Because I gotta wait for my elevator yeah. again. And I believe if you go to that one um, elevator again. Uh, I don't the, know if it, the like yeah. giant one. I can't remember if it's um set already to let you down into the area, because there's a spiral staircase on it. So if you want to go down and see if it connects to the to area the where entrance the entrance of the cathedral. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I can check that out. I say gotcha a lot. I figured mm. that out recently. Um, oh, yeah, property damage. Because of a co-worker at the website mm -hmm. design place who was like, John, you say gotcha a lot. Yeah. And I was like, uh-oh. And so that place right over there is closer to where you will need to do the most infuriating part. One of the, the most infuriating Aaron, parts. The Aaron Arlando the, archers? Yeah, the anal rodeo archers. Anal rodeo? Yeah. Oh, look at him charge. Yep. You gotta come get me. He's gonna try. So let's see, I don't think this is far enough down to get you there. It might be. I can't remember. I have no idea. These oh, are very is. large Yay. stairs. So right there, yeah. Something over here? Why did I stop? I don't know. You were looking. And basically, if you... That's a way to, another way to turn the thing. Oh, I think. that... I, I that, can't remember, actually. Well, yeah. let's... Contraption does not Yeah, it's if you're stuck down here. Gotcha. Because you can, in fact, if you fall properly, you can fall into this area and survive. Okay. If you do certain things. And there are a lot of these guys, by the way. Holy... That world is where it is. You do not have to fight the boss to get out of there, but you do have to get to her boss room to leave. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and attract these guys one at a time. And you do have the doll you need to go t into the painting. But if you're there, it's going to be a good number of the next episodes you you will spend there. Oh, okay. I do think you have a good number of anti-poison stuff, and if not, it's not that big of an area, so even if you die, as long as you get a sense for where you're going. Yeah. That's me. You're popular. Yeah, my, my boy, my boy, my sweet boy Nigel is calling. Oh, I attracted all three of them. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call him back after this. Okay. But uh But again, you have you have a plus ten. You you have enough extra humanity, I'm I'm pretty certain that you can at least kindle the bonfire in the area 
of the Painted World once. Which would give me... Ten. Ten. That's just whenever you rest. Because you're going to need it in there. Because it's it's trying. Like I said, there are some pretty strong enemies. A lot of one of the enemies that has a really big, gross, pustule head. When you kill him without anything but magic, or or pyromancy or miracles, I think its head explodes and it causes toxic to almost immediately build up to full, if not inflict toxic. Oof. Yeah. Ow. Hey, dude. Now oh, come a little closer, baby. Come a little closer. It's a pretty rough area. The painted world? Yeah. These guys give decent souls. Yeah. And it's fortunate that this is the one game you don't need to go to a level up lady. Yeah. Okay, there's another guy over there guarding another solely thing. Mm -hmm. That was a weird pathing choice game. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Nice. That was like one hit. Yeah. Ooh, it's a sorcery for mm -hmm. me. Nice. Haha! -ha! Getting used to the game again. This feels good. Yeah. And I think I know what that is, but I can't remember, so I'll let you find out. And... Yeah, so you know the guy that, that you summoned for the um, Iron Golem? Yes. He is uh, not good at platforming, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. Out of His curiosity. outfit is also very heavy. You will have a fat roll, probably. But if you want to give it a try and see. Yeah. I do want to give it a try because I do want to try... Like, actually doing the game. <laughs> the way it was, like, kind of designed to be played. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I also got a shield. Yeah, and that's also very heavy. You might not have enough strength for it. Uh... I don't think I do. Um, how do you... Um, it'd be Y. Oh, X, sorry. Uh... Or Y. One of the two. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the strength requirement is 34. Oh, yeah, I don't have 34. Um, yeah, so your roll is back to slow, I think. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I, I think I'm gonna switch back then. Because it's a bit too slow for you? Yeah. Yeah. You know me, I like being a fast boy. That being said, like, maybe on a second playthrough, if I do a second playthrough... Oh I'll my use... gosh, a couple months ago you would have never even considered such a thing. Right? Uh, I would... I, I might be interested in trying it. Nice. Trying, like, a heavy armor build. So once you go in here, you can't leave until you... Until you, um... Oh, well, okay. I'm doing it. I want that rapier. Okay, you also get the armor set that the um that the priest guy was wearing, the priest of Velka. Woo! In this area. What did his armor look like? Um, let me look it up. I'm being sucked in. Isn't this a really sad area too? Kind of. This is the armor set. It's very light. Oh yeah. Ted, put up the Velka Clerics. The black set is what it's called, I believe. For, um, the audience. Future Ted. Ted, why are you talking to yourself? I'm talking to the future me. Fuck you, future me. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be so sad now. Yeah. I'm already sad. I'm always sad. Oh, damn. Yeah, this place is depressing. Light the bonfire. And then give yourself... To humanity, if you have it. Um, and to do that, I have to actually go into the menu. In inventory, yeah. 
Yeah, just use a twin. And then rest, and then kindle. Oh, I gotta unhollow first. Yep. Reverse hollowing. And guys, on the next episode, we're gonna be going through the first section of the painted world. Yeah. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.